here she is my old wheelbarrow look at that oh the rusty mustiness of her uh, this wheelbarrow was the first one we bought with our previous home um, a lot of gardening went into this thing and eventually it was used to haul hay to the goats when they were out in our pasture Sorry, Bailey's pulling on me. Um, and then it kind of got left out in the pasture and the goats tore it up a bit and the rest took over and so here she is. Pretty sad. So. Get ready, folks. Because I'm going to take this and turn it into this. Hey guys, welcome back to Sparrow's Nest Farm. It's been a little while since you've heard from me. Uh, most of the videos lately have been Libertas because that's been the big Thing that we're working on. Um, I've got a homestead update coming up, but today we got to talk. Uh, my dear friend Laura over at Evolution of a Homestead, um, link in the description, she's challenging people to go find their old rusty wheelbarrow and give it a new paint job. Now, she's pretty artsy. She's very creative. I'm not. <laughs> well, I can be creative, but not so much in the artsy sense. So, I decided I would give her a little surprise and make it pretty. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm working with. Just kidding, guys. This is the one I'll be working with. Um, this one I found on Facebook Market Marketplace. Um, for $15. It's in really good shape. It's nice. It's heavy. So the weight of it is going to be a challenge um, just because of what I plan to do to it. But to start with, I'm going to have to get in there with Wits Grinder and grind off all the rust and um, work down the paint a bit. And then I'll show you what I'm doing from there. Okay guys, so it's another day. Um, as you can see, we've moved into the garage and I'm going to start getting this thing prepped for the paint. Uh, the first thing I have to do, um, put on gloves because my skin is pretty sensitive. <laughs> um, the first thing I'm going to do is use the grease and wax remover to get this all cleaned up. Now, if you watched um, any of Wit's videos about getting the tub ready for the Raptor liner, this is the same stuff that he used. Um, this is Duplo Color brand, grease and wax remover. So, I'm just going to get started and rub this thing down, try and get as much off as I can. Um, judging by how dirty this is, I may end up uh, using this whole bottle. Okay. I am going to start with the uh, wire attachment on the drill and get some of the worst rust, rusty spots, but honestly I'm not trying to get this project perfect because I want it to look just a little bit battered um, when it's done. So as you can see I uh, sent Wit upstairs to find my safety glasses because I had no idea where they were because let's be honest. I'm just not that good at that. <laughs> so, here we go. Alright, I don't feel like I'm making tons of progress with that, so I'm going to switch over to the sander and just get a good surface so I can start painting. And here we go. <laughs> Before 
I go any further, let me get the appropriate tools and I'll be right back. Hey, look guys, I found the right tool. It's all yours now. Come on, come on. Oh man, why do I help her with things? I don't know. I'm taking my nuts and I'm leaving. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. <laughs> hey, Jen. I think you got more work to do. Really? I don't like you anymore. I do like him. I just don't want to do this. <laughs> Babe? Am I done yet? These mechanics gloves, basically mini hand saunas. All right, so I've got the seal of approval on my clear coat removal. So I'm gonna go over it again with the cleaner that I used earlier and get all of the dust particles and such off. And then I'm gonna find some cardboard to put under it and start painting. I go away, I come back again. <laughs> Good enough for me. Okay guys, so the paint that I'm going to start with on all sides of this is Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer. Um, it works as a primer for just keeping the rust from bleeding through or continuing to oxidize. And I'm actually going to go ahead and paint all of the wood and the, um, I don't know what these are called, and I'm painting these black too. So, I'll get started on that next. I'm going to have to open the garage. That's not how you're supposed to use spray paint. Hi everybody! You may remember me from such shows as Rusty Old Jeep and I have absolutely no idea what's going on right now. that's enough for now. I'll come back and probably uh, touch up any spots I missed on the bottom side before I flip it over and get started on the top. All right, so it's day two of the wheelbarrow project. I came down earlier and gave it a second coat and kind of uh, touched up a few spots that I missed the first time around. So the bottom side almost done. Um, the next step 
is actually, Wit's gonna teach me how to use this and be my lovely assistant and hold the wheelbarrow. And I'm cutting the handles off. Um, you'll notice that it is up off the ground, yesterday being bent over for so long. My back is killing me, so Wit was kind enough to uh, put it up for me so I don't have to bend over. Just makes more sense to have it at working height. Yes, it does. Alright, how do I work this thing? Just put it in place and pull the trigger. Here we go. One down. <laughs> I don't know. I might want to come at that one from the other side. any further out than this because right now that is almost sticking out. Okay, well if I need to go any more I can. Um, Does that look about the same? Or? Yeah, but you're going to hit the wheelbarrow. Let's right turn here. your angle. Yep. Let me borrow this. Yeah, let's turn your angle a little bit. Like so. And That's this. better. Why did we do that on the other side? Yeah, I didn't think about it. <laughs> That would be good right there. Did you have fun? Messy. Done? Thank you very much. You're welcome. Very much. All right. I'm going to clean off this end a little bit and uh, give it a quick shot of some paint. And then we'll flip this over and get started on the other side. Okay guys, it's time to clean up. I still haven't cleaned the inside from when I used the sander on it. So I'm gonna wipe this out real quick and then give this a spray of the black paint. I'm only gonna use one coat of the black paint on this side because this is the side where all of the other paint will be. And I think it's gonna get plenty of layers and I have a clear coat that I'm putting on it. So I think it should be good. Spots I missed. Trying to look at it from every angle and make sure. You want to hit this from a different angle. Okay. There is some rust reformer left for you. All right, so that is it for the black paint. Um, I'm gonna probably let that dry until tomorrow before I start on the white paint. Um, that's it for today. <laughs> so I told myself I'm not working on the wheelbarrow project today. And I determined I was not going to work on the wheelbarrow project today. And then my husband so kindly um, put the tape inside the wheelbarrow so I could tape the edges. A couple days ago. Or yesterday. It was yesterday after I got done. And here I find myself working on the wheelbarrow project. And it's all his fault. I didn't just put it there to make you do it. It was already there today. Uh-huh. I'm job still working. blaming you. Good job doing that. <laughs> I might put the first coat of white on it since I went ahead and taped it, even though I wasn't going to work on it. Might as well. Might as well. Okay, so I went ahead and sprayed the first coat, and I am using Semi-Gloss Protective Enamel by Rust-Oleum in white. Um, I think pretty much all of the products I'm going to be using on this product are Rust-Oleum, just because it, it's a rusty wheelbarrow that'll be outside, so I just want to give it that little bit of extra protection. But the white is looking pretty good. I'll probably give it at least one more coat um, because I want a really good surface um, 
of white paint on this before I get started with the next step. All right, so I put a second coat on and I peeled off the paint because you're not supposed to leave, or not the paint, I peeled off the tape because you're not supposed to leave the tape on there. And for the most part, it looks pretty good, but there are a couple of problem areas that are gonna have to be dealt with. Um, you can see here that the tape actually pulled some of the black paint back off. And then here where it's got the bubbly uh, rust that was covered and dirty, it the tape didn't seal very well. So I think I'm going to have to come back through with a straight edge and the black paint and touch it up to get that nice solid edge I was looking for. See the paint went up under there pretty good. But overall, I'm happy with the surface I've ended up with. I am really going to let this uh, sit and really thoroughly dry for at least 24 hours before I go on to the next step and start using those. Oh. Um, I took a few days off of working on this project. I had some other things I needed to get done, but then this morning after my devotional time, I turned on Facebook and saw that Laura posted hers, and I thought, well, darn it, I need to get on mine again. So I just spent a few minutes putting the uh, design on here, and I'm just rubbing the stickers down a little bit because they're popping up. Uh, which I don't want them to stick super hard because I want them to come up fairly easily without scratching the paint underneath. But I also don't want the paint to get underneath the sticker and not do the design I'm hoping for. So I will show you guys what this looks like. And then later today, I'm going to get this sprayed. Let me grab you and show you what I've got. Okay, so my design idea has changed several times since I started this project. And I think I am pretty, I'm going to be pretty happy with the results that I'm going to get from this. Um, and you know, in the end it's just paint, so if I don't like it, I can redo it. But I think this looks pretty good. Uh, it's got our farm name on it, and our name, and some stars. Now the... The glittery stickers will not stay on there. Once I've sprayed, the stickers will come off. And hopefully, if they if I do this correctly, it's going to look really cool when I'm done. Stay tuned. It is time to get started. I've got a can of Rust-Oleum High Gloss in blue and a can in red. So, what I have in my head, I hope works. I don't know. Um, not real good at bringing things from my head to fruition sometimes, but we're going to give this a go and see what happens. Um, I'm having a little trouble getting these stickers to stick very well, so I'm going to have to press them down really quick and then spray that section and move on. We'll see how that works. So far, so good. Alright, now, I am just gonna get this ready. Um, in the next couple of minutes, I need to go through and take off all of these stickers before it fully dries. So. 
that um, it doesn't stick to the paint, but it was such a light coat. Hopefully that will not be a problem. Just using a trusty box cutter here. box cutter is just to get the edge up so I don't smear the paint with my fingers. It's so glittery. I like it. I'll give you guys a closer look. All right, there we go. <laughs> I am so happy with how this turned out. It looks great. Um, so the letters that I was having a hard time getting to stick are these more script looking letters. And it sprayed underneath a little bit, but since I went so light over that space, it wasn't too bad. And I honestly think the little bit of spray over really adds to it. Um, all of the stars were difficult to get off. And boy, I hope I got them all because they really blended in once I had sprayed it. They were hard to see. But wow, they look awesome. So the next step will be once this is fully dried, probably tomorrow, I will give it a uh, coating of a special um, protective surface stuff. Yeah, I'll show you next time. Anyways, the next step is to put the protective surface on it, and then it can go in its new home. I love it. All right, so um, I did not film finishing this project. I ended up with the flu, and I was also running out of time to get this done. So I did the clear coat, but I didn't want to be on camera. I wasn't feeling good. One problem that we have is the paint bubbled and cracked down here. I don't know why. Um, I'm sure that at some point I'm going to have to repaint this, which is fine. It's a... I think it'll lend itself well to being repainted and redesigned every once in a while totally okay with that but I did put a clear coat on it so it should be mostly protected from the weather and honestly I'm really happy with it I think it looks great I think it's a nice addition to my front garden which you guys don't see usually um, yeah I'm happy don't forget when you finish this video to head over to Laura's video that we will link in the description below. Um, she's at Evolution of Homestead. She was the one who started this and her project turned out super cute. I just love it and she did something a little different than what I did, which let's face it, we all knew I was going to be weird. Anyways. I hope you all enjoyed this video and my little foray into being artsy. I might just do it again. I had a lot of fun with it. So until next time, take care. God bless.